This is the June 2016 Mystery Tackle Box, Saltwater Edition. Okay, this is uh, the Mustad Ultra Point Warm Hook Impact Soft Plastic. These hooks are phenomenal for soft plastic. Now, it will not work on the Elastec stuff, so don't even try these things, but for regular plastic, they're excellent. This is the three yacht size, so you can't really use like the larger, larger flukes and stuff, but this is perfect for the small paddle tail, as well as the four inch jerk bait, or what they call fluke. Okay, this thing here is the DOA Gold Rush paddle tail, and this is the Logic Lure fluke, four inch fluke. These three yachts are perfect for these little, little small lures. Just basically put the pigtail in with the pressure as straight as you could possibly get it. Now you gotta go all the way down to the point where the curly tail, the pigtail, goes all the way in. So you don't want to have the curly tail out. It'd be a lot better secure-wise. And once you're in there, make sure this is flat or perpendicular to the hook. That way, when this goes into it, you measure it, right? You measure where it's going to come out. So you kind of put it as straight as possible right there. Put your finger on the other side so you can see, feel it coming out. That way, when it's wrong, you can just back it up. That's right in the middle. See how straight that is? And that'll swim excellent right there. It'll float right down. Now you can do the same thing with a paddle tail. I call this a paddle tail. A lot of people call it a, a swim tail, but as you can see, a three odd works pretty good. Even a two odd work in this thing. So if you're skipping mangroves or something, this would be awesome. You want a little bit of action. I use this all the time for snook and redfish in the summertime when the water is really, really high and you don't have a lot of options if you're using artificial. So if you're using artificial, this is perfect right here, same concept here. Even though it doesn't have a groove, you just make one. So this works great, especially when the fish is finicky. You downsize to a smaller bait. See how I kind of messed up there? I probably want to rehook that. Because if you don't hook, rehook that, it'll probably swim all crooked. You want to go straight. You don't want to crunch down or anything. There you go. Come right out. There you go. That's totally weedless right there. Totally weedless. And with these uh, pigtail things, they stay on pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Next is the... I'm just going to... Oh. Bucktail. Pot belly dude bucktail. This is... 3 eighths an ounce, a little, a little he too heavy for me on the flats, but for, for like uh, four to six feet of water, this is great for redfish and trout, I would use this for. But of course, near docks and stuff for snook, that'll work great too. This is by Wahoo. I think they're just down the street from me in Punta Gorda, I believe. Ah, this is the Voodoo Glow Shrimp. This I have not used but my friend Jeremy McBride uses the thing quite a bit often up in, uh, up in the panhandles. He catches a lot of reds on these things. Let me see how this works. This doesn't, this, it's, it's heavier towards the front. A lot, a, lot of the, a lot of the shrimp are in the middle. So it floats, a little, it floats evenly, slowly down. These voodoo shrimp are very popular. And it looks like the weight is toward the front. So... I would imagine the tail is kind of separated here. It gives it a lot of action. This is the glow color. And I like the size too. This, this size here, well, everything will probably eat it. So we'll go down, the antenna will go up, and it'll, it'll wiggle down. I will definitely have to try this with, with redfish especially. And it'll probably be awesome for trout as well. Nice little, little weight there on the spinning rod. Be, be medium to medium. Eh, medium to medium light. I, would, I, I wouldn't go very heavy on these things. Medium light, 15 pound braid. This would be awesome for redfish and trout. Next is the mirror lure. Mirror lure. Soft sardine, three inch. Man, these got, summertime, these things are working out pretty good. The smaller bait when they're finicky and hot, except with the exception of tarpon. Man, I hate. 
Why do you open these things? Alright. Go ahead and use a knife. The Miradine. Well, it's not Miradine. It's by Miralo. Same people that makes the Miradine. They're based out here in Largo, Florida. You get a lot for the pack, too. Look at these things. Are they scented? No, not they're not scented. But they got scales. They got the basically is the same concept as the as the DOA paddle tail. Just a little little different. This will work good with both these work good with jig heads as well as the worm hook. A worm hook will make it a little weedless and better presentation if you want like some stealth and, you, and a lot of grass. But if you uh, got to cast a long ways and you're looking for redfish and there's not a lot of grass around, jig head for sure. I like to use a one eighth or a quarter ounce on these things. All right. Next is the man. They actually give you some stuff to actually work with here. The hooks work with all these things, right? This is the K Wiggler uh, fluke. Interesting tail there. Instead of a, a straight edge, it has it has these white these white. Okay, so it doesn't have. The, it doesn't have the crevice for the hook. It has a white tail. A little bit of contrast there. I've, not, I've never really bought red color jerk baits, but I guess they, they, they work. But I have to try this thing. It's not scented. At least uh, any scented that I can tell. So let's see if these are. These are regular plastic. This is not the elastic. So these things work just fine for it. Let's go with this thing. This is the five inch, I believe. Five inch K wigglers. I love using jerk bait for for snook because they like to come look at it, and especially when it when it slowly floats down. One more twist, and it should be ready to go. Same concept here. Even though it does not have the crevice, right? You can still kind of predict where it's come out. The one thing I don't like about these smaller hooks on this particular bait. It's just a, the hook is kind of small, so I would go with like a five or four to go right through here. So you see how I got that crooked? I'm gonna I'm gonna redo that, redo that because it's already small. I want to swim pretty good. Okay, so there it is. Now it's totally straight and it's weedless. Now the reason I say that because once the hook gets bit in it, there's only this room, this gap here. Right? There's only this small gap here to hook the fish. Whereas if it has a crevice in there, the hook will come out even more. So you actually have a better chance of hookup on, on some of the other jerk baits. Okay? And last but not least is the prize. If I win this, I will give it away to you guys. I haven't won anything yet, so don't hold your breath. This is a it's a fish finder. Wow, that's a good prize. Okay, deeper fish finder. Let's see what we got here. Has to match with three. Has to match with three. Okay. Okay, I got everything different. I don't think it's not very good unless... Nada. We don't have it, folks. Again, this is like the fifth or sixth one with nothing. Mystery Tackle Box, June 2016, Saltwater.